Hello, hello, my lovely Aquas. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Aquas. We have the Destroyer and Thanatos, the Pilgrim, and then the Eternal Child. Aquas. I mean, Thanatos is death, but it's the idea of, I mean, especially with this card, you know, just kind of the idea of like holding on to things that you know just like aren't working, right? And I think having to really break out of that mentality, you know, the destroyer, I mean, it comes through aggressively, you know, it comes through like, I don't know, like I think of like an adrenaline rush, you know, what is that movie? What are all those Jason Statham movies? But there was one of them. I wrote a paper on it in college. <laughs> I got it. I got, I got put on the wall for it too, which is like a really big deal at the time, but Anyways, I digress. <laughs> um, but he like he he pumps himself like he injects his heart with something that like brings him back to life so that he can keep fighting. And I feel like there's this like like I gotta inject myself and fight through this. Um, like that's like that aggressive you know like burst of adrenaline of like destroying whatever it is that you've been holding on to that's preventing you from moving forward, right? Because death you can't move forward <laughs> right and if you're holding on to an idea if you're holding on to a mentality if you're holding on to something that's preventing you from moving forward and you really got to like jolt yourself into action um so that you can you can enter into that next journey i think you know the the eternal child to me i always think of of the idea of like trepidation, right? Like if you think about like a, a, like a little kid who's, you know, getting ready to do something for the first time and maybe they're a little nervous or they're watching somebody do something and, you know, somebody goes up to them and they're like, Hey, do you want to try? You know? And they're just kind of like, mm, yes, but I'm scared. You know what I mean? Like that's that energy. So I feel like you have a very like, like a dual energy around you right now. Um, but it's from one version of you to another version of you and having to really jolt yourself out of something that you know isn't making you happy and step into something that is going to send you in a direction that you're just kind of like, yeah, I want to try, <laughs> which I love that. That's good energy, Aquas. Okay, let's get some clarifiers. Aquas. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I do feel like some of my aquas are getting new jobs. Um, the King of Swords Strength, the Six of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Well, aquas. Um, again, you know, like this breaking out of something, you know, like it's like there's, there's that jolt, that strength, you know, like that adrenaline of strength that's sweeping you up, that's pu like pushing your momentum forward quickly, um, turning your back on something else entirely and making a decision to protect this new opportunity. Because I feel like whatever it is that you're letting go of, you're letting go of it because it's, it's kind of like, I feel like there's like an either or, like you can't do both, right? Like you can't work both jobs. You can't have both relationships. You can't toe the line, right? Hasn't that been in your reads for a while now? And like you needing to make a decision. And I think you're making that decision to really, um, protect what it is that brings you value because it aligns with you right okay aquas let's see what else we can get for y'all king of wands coming in with that king energy okay <laughs> aquas king pentacles damn Six of Swords, King of Swords, King of Swords twice, 
The only king you don't have is King of Cups. Um, I feel like that makes sense for Aquas. <laughs> but I mean, you know, the King of Swords, the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, King of Swords twice, which, I mean, you know, is very much an Aquarian energy, you know, that, that logical, sound, authoritative, you know, reserved kind of energy um, that's taking action toward abundance. I mean, I feel like whatever decision it is that you're making, it's one that's kind of really helping you to like see a way out of some like gnarliness that you've been existing in and, and like firmly deciding. I feel like, I think indecision was kind of something that was in your last read too, but I feel like any indecision that you were kind of toying with has been completely done away with and now you're coming in as very decided very active you know very you know like I'm invested in this decision that I'm making an invested decision that you're protective of because it's that next leg of your journey Aquas. the moon and the ten of pentacles damn whatever decision this is that you guys are making I really do. You've got the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. We got Pentacles up in here. Ten of Pentacles twice. You're making a decision that is affecting your life in a very, very positive way. I feel like for some of my aquas, you guys are getting a job that is just going to like next level you financially. Um, you know, like you're making a decision to really dedicate your time and energy and attention into something that is going to be beneficial instead of towing the line thinking that everybody will be fine if you just distribute it all equally and, and it's like no not when there's real not when there are real issues at hand you know um and I think you've had to really lean in on your intuition um you know and and I almost feel like saying tuning into yourself because you guys are so disconnected and you know, sometimes it's a very charming quality that you have, but sometimes it just kind of like, you're so concerned with like the, like the, the crowd mentality and what everybody else is doing, what everybody else is saying that it's like you, you're disconnected from your own intuition a lot of times. And I feel like this has been a reconnection to your intuition, um, and I feel like it's an empowering your logical decision making, which is beautiful. And I love that, Aquas. Um, get it. <laughs> okay, Aquas. Let's see what else we can get for y'all. Judgment. Well, yeah. I mean, part of making a decision is practicing. But I don't even want to say judgment. I want to say discernment. You're practicing discernment and making a sound decision. Um, the Queen of Cups and the Magician. The Moon Judgment. I mean, this is big energy, Aquas. This is like following your intuition to make a decision to really stand in your power that enables you to, I almost want to say, like, create this abundance, create this wealth, create this new endeavor that is that is fruitful for you because you are more conscious of your emotions you're more conscious of um of why you're making the logical decisions that you're making because as logical as my air signs can be you're still very heavily influenced and driven by your subconscious emotions and desires and and if you just ignore them um, you know, because it's for the greater good of everyone, but like it ends up causing a lot of conflict, then you're forced to really reconnect with your own emotional awareness. Um, you know, and I think that it's serving you well. And I love that. Okay. Aquas. Let's do one last card for y'all and we'll call it a read. The vision. Yes. Because it, when you align with your own personal vision, and you're not tr piecing yourself out to try and please everybody because you can take everybody along on this journey. It's like, no, you've got limited space, limited, limited room for cargo. Like you can't carry everyone along or you're not, you're never going to get anywhere. And you're making a decision to start working with people 
who I think are going to be so much more aligned with your vision and they're going to get you there so much faster and you're going to stop dicking around with shit that doesn't even really matter to you. Some job that like it doesn't have anything to do with what you want to do. It doesn't have anything to do with what you want to be. Like, why are you wasting your time on that? Why are you wasting your energy on that? You know, those people who expect you to, you know, like coddle their insecurities and, and push aside things that you're actually passionate about. Fuck those people. It's not your job to, to drag the world along. You have to, you have to blaze the trail and allow an opportunity for them to move forward of their own accord in the future. Should they so desire, you don't have to drag them along with you while you're trying to blaze a blaze a path. That's nonsensical. There's no logic behind that. Um, Ari Aqua as well. I hope this resonates with y'all. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and please give me a like, share and subscribe if it does. I'll see y'all again soon. Bye.